Hello everyone, welcome to Professor 3 Mac. Today I will show you how to apply cyclic gravity load in Abacus CAE. You can use the same technique to apply on a fixed object or could it could be for a free object inside a compartment and you can see the effect of this variation in gravity on that material or structure. What we're going to do in this case since I didn't have the complete information I am just going ahead with whatever I can assume so I'm, I'm selecting a block here which will be fixed from the bottom the bottom face will be fixed and then I will apply a gravity load which will be acceleration due to gravity as a function of time which is shown here so again I have used a random pattern here as a triangular wave and I will apply it for 10 seconds so there could be a very vast range of applications there I'm just showing you in a general way how to apply gravity load which is a cyclic gravity load in Abacus CA so see you on the other side okay let's get going I will first create a part and in this case as I mentioned I will create a 3d deformable solid extruded cube so that's what I'm doing here now I will select the rectangle command And now I'm creating, as you see, the rectangle in a sketch module. Let's make it one by one. So it will be a square of one by one. And now I will extrude it in the other direction. And I will give again a value of one. And again, I'm just making an arbitrary big structure. So I'm making everything in meters here. So it's a one by one by one meter cube. Now I go to the properties. Again, the property wise, I can define any material properties since I'm not interested in going into the details of the material. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the elastic material and for that I'm gonna use steel properties. So let's first define the elastic card and also we need to define, you might have to define the density if we are going for explicit analysis, for example in any way so let's define the density again i'm using the density of steel which is around seven um, seven eight five zero you can use tons per meter millimeters cube as well but in this case i'm going to use seven eight five zero then for elastic constants i'm going to use 210 gigapascals so in this case again everything is in meters so it should be 210 exponent 9 Pascals and 0.33 s Poisson's ratio. So now I have created the material properties called material one. I will now create a solid section. And this is just to ensure that Abacus knows what this cube is made up of. So we're going to create a solid section as you see, and then we will assign this section to Abacus uh, model, which is a cube in this case. So now the color has changed. So everything is defined correctly in the green color. Now I'm going to assembly and I'm going to instance the part. In this case, I only have one part. So I have instanced that and you can see how it looks like. All right, now I go to the step module and I have to define the step. In this case, since we are doing the gravity analysis, so we can either do explicit dynamic analysis if we have no fixed objects and we have rigid body motions. But in this case, since I am fixing the bottom face, I'm going to go with the static general step. Overall process will remain the same how to define the gravity as a function of time. So as you remember, the total time of the simulation was 10 seconds. So that's what I'm doing, giving here. Let me see if I can find Excel. Yep. So in, you, in this, you see, I showed you this wave pattern and it was, so it is supposed to be applied for 10 seconds. And hence, I'm using the total time period of 10 seconds for the simulation. okay and also for the time incrementation let's give a large number of maximum number of increments so that it doesn't analysis doesn't stop if it goes up beyond certain number and also for the increment size minimum and maximum i'm specifying 0.1 because i want certain number of outputs throughout and also i want to capture how many points i am going to capture in the wave because if you use very less number of points then uh, we may not get reasonable distribution. So we need to capture as many points on the wave as possible. And I think 0.1 will ensure in this case. 
interaction we don't need in this case because it's just one object but if you have multiple objects then definitely you need to define contacts and all the other constraints for loading i'm going to define the fixed bottom surface so displacement boundary condition select the bottom surface press done and i will select u1 u2 and u3 as zero and here you go your bottom face is now completely fixed now for the loading we need to define the gravity load so we will select the gravity here and now we can give the acceleration due to gravity uh, in specific direction so since our my y direction is a vertical direction so i'm going to give a y value of let's say minus 9.8 so this means it's going into the negative y direction and instead of having ramp i am gonna go with a cyclic triangular function for 10 seconds and that's what i'm gonna do now so i'm gonna create an amplitude function using tabular arrangement when I press continue, I have a table now and I can just go back to my Excel file and I can copy the cyclic amplitude for the gravity load. So once I have selected that, I can just copy paste from the Excel directly and you can see I have defined the gravity load amplitude as a function of time and I can select this amplitude here and abracadabra, all is done now for gravity load to be cyclic in nature. So once we have done that, we can now we can now go to the mesh and we can mesh the part. So I will just again use a random meshing because click on the part because it's not an independent one. So and now I will apply a global seed. Let's see how big it looks like. I think it's fine. We're not working on the mesh refinement or mesh sensitivity right now. So I think this is pretty much enough. I think it's around 18, 1000 to 1800 elements. And now I'm going to go for the job and I will create a new job and I will then submit it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to call it gravity cyclic and let's press continue we have now a job and we now submit the job and then we can monitor if everything is going fine so here you go and now my job is working fine it has processed the input parameters so everything is defined correctly we have no warnings or errors until now now abacus has started to solve by saying started abacus standard and you can see it's going pretty quick it's all elastic linear elastic and everything is fixed it should be straightforward only thing we are trying to capture here is the cyclic variation of gravity load and how the stress is and other things very really, really, very really. you see it's going very well and it's still running and now it's finished in a few minutes so now let's go and see the results so dismiss this and if I press results, it will take me to visualization module where I can post process the data. So you see how the stresses look like and they are in the, at the final point, they look something like this. While if I plot a video or animation, then you should be see the time variation. So you see how the wave stress wave is traveling due to the variation of gravity and the cycle as a function of time. You can speed it up, you can slow it down, you can also play once rather than going in loop. So that's what I'm doing now and then you can see it goes pretty slow and it will stop at the very last minute. So you see the stress wave is traveling go around and this shows the gravity load is working fine. So this way you can really apply the gravity load as a function of time and you can also see by hand uh, manually how the stresses are increasing and decreasing so you see it increases and then after one second it will start to decrease again so you see it's decreasing again so this is how so you can see everything is working fine you just applied the gravity load for the, on the whole model rather than rather than forces or pressures at certain points and surfaces and you are able to capture how the stress waves are really traveling through your material. So you, you can have a wide application on these kind of simulation using 
for example you are traveling in space you are on planet earth and you are again having variation in gravity due to the velocities and motions inertia so you can really do all those kind of simulations using this technique you can also plot stresses or displacements to see if everything is varying as a function of time or not so let me plot let's say is a stress select any random element somewhere in the model to show how it looks like and you can see how the stress really varies and this in that element as a function of time and which is very much very similar to what we expect due to the stress wave caused by the cyclic gravity load so i hope this made sense